not were you? Um, at halftime, I was I was real excited. You know, I, um, I just we played very maturely and we played everybody and played with great energy and uh, the kids absolutely helped the school kids absolutely helped our energy level for sure. Coming out of the second half, um, you know, we we had an issue with Jazz. She just had some. Uh, she was, uh, frankly, I don't think she ate a lot, and then she drank like an energy drink, and so she was a little bit, um, so they told me she couldn't, uh, maybe not be able to play the second half. Mm -hmm. And um, that really changed a lot, it changed our rotation. Defensively on Nash, that really hurt us. And um, But the good thing is we had three freshmen that then had to guard Olivia Nash, who was having a great game, and as long as we win and we get that out of it, I think we're going to be a great team because of that. Because you put Laura on her, you put Kayla on her, you put Erica on her, and, and Nash was having a heck of a game. And tough kid to guard because she's hitting a three and then getting inside and real sophisticated. And, you know, we got three freshmen trying to lock it down. We put Ray on her for a little bit, too. And it was just like, um, so there was a lot kind of going on on our bench as we tried to figure out without Keona and without Jazz. Um, so I'm proud of them. Uh, I thought Ray Ray's rebounding in the second half was ridiculous and kept us alive. And then um, these two are very, very clutch. And so all the calls coming towards the end were from Monterey to Monterey. And they came through every single time. He at least got to the free throw line or hit a big shot. So stuff we needed to have. Um, I'm, I'd be lying if I wouldn't say I'd rather have had this, this, the second half the same as the first. But we're going into a tough environment on Monday. And, um, you know, this is going to be very, very good for us. I'll tell you that Oakland, he's a heck of a coach. He's a heck of a coach. And made some great adjustments at halftime and I kind of stayed stubborn and, and didn't change my defenses <laughs> because of the lessons that we need. But he did a heck of a job. Could you have scripted it any better for Michelle to score the first point? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty happy. I <laughs> winked at her winked at her mom in the stands, so that was a pretty good moment. I know you guys talked about it uh, quickly when you first walked in, but Maude and Ray, if you could just talk about having the kids there. I mean, uh, I think it's about like one minute for the first defense chant to start up. I thought my ears were going to explode. Just talk about the boost that they gave you, and just to, to hear that to hear that roar every time you guys had a bucket, any time you had a big rebound, anything. It was it was a pretty cool scene. Um, I know when we first got out there, it was like all I heard was 23, 20. It was like my own section, and I was just like, oh my goodness. It kind of, I guess it reminded me of my nephew, and like I just have this bond with him. So just having the kids out there cheering for me and cheering for the team, it, it just like, I don't know, it, just, it made me really, really happy. And I know the team, it made the team like seeing the posters and seeing Laura's, Vamos Laura, like that, that was just funny. So just having them out there, and um, Coach, I said before the game, like, there are some girls out there looking for mentors, and and we wanted to be the tonight. They're mentors, they're leaders, and um, I we definitely I, I want to go see them wherever wherever elementary school. I definitely want to go see them. Um, it was exciting for me as well. Uh, I love giving back to kids. I'm actually doing an internship right now with giving back to kids, helping with homework and whatever I can do just to help them. There, um, one of my girls that I actually mentor at the program was called Branches. I saw her in the crowd on this and like towards our bench on the opposite side. So it just it just makes me feel good because you never know what type of impact you have on people in general, not even just kids. But um, I really appreciate it. Like I love our fans to death, but that was just a great environment to play. What about having to get up a little earlier and, and playing at 11? They, they obviously gave you a boost of energy at 11 a.m., but <laughs> was it, you know, you're not used to typically having to have this level of energy that early in the morning. Yeah, I don't know, the kids the kids definitely boosted it. Like, mm -hmm. um, um it was just fun just coming out there. I didn't know I, that I heard there's gonna be a lot of kids out like they're just, you know, overreacting, but it really was about two thousand kids out there. Yeah. So, yeah. How about you? Are you a morning person or um I had no choice but to be <laughs> <laughs> it was a struggle through my whole four years of being there, but now I can say that I've gotten better at it. Uh we, like it's not anything different just because we have morning practices and coaches just as enthusiastic if not more than the kids. So um I mean just anything other than that, like I cramped up a little bit in the game, so I'm in the morning I really not wanted to eat or drink, but it's very important to do all that. So I just had to get ready for that. What time are the morning practices usually? Oh, well, on a weekend. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. We, we have to be in the training room. She said they're fun. She said the word fun. fun. <laughs> they are fun, but we have to be in the training room at 845 in the morning to do like, uh, physical enhancement stuff to prevent injuries with our trainer. And then we go watch film, or then we go practice. 
But I mean, there's nothing else I'd rather do on a Saturday. There's <laughs> They did go to their 8 a.m. classes. Yeah, yes, yes, I did. We loved it. Oh, wow. They, wow. Did. they, did. Yeah. they didn't have class excuses till 9, and they went. So, best mm -hmm. class to go to. Yeah. So, yeah, just the freshmen, I mean, just elaborate yeah. a little more on, on, you know, how you think they did. I, I, you know, they're really going to be very, very important. And, um, you know, they, I, I know there was one layup for Erica, and we just, just hope that that went in. Can't believe it didn't go in, but she was really kind of jumpy. I thought Kayla hit a big uh, catch and finish kind of thing that was huge at a time where we really needed it. So they're not... Um, they're not green. Uh, I think they were a little excited. Laura's got a real sophistication to her game, and we played her in three, four different positions today, mm -hmm. for, and her freshman in her first game. And so she gets a lot of playing time because she fills in every hole and is very, very calm. But um, So I think they're going to really, really help us. And Keanu Harris is first half, and she's going to play with great energy. But, you know, this was a... This was a close game. I mean, we really had to work and grind and um, respond, and that's great. I mean, we, we, we are glad that we had we were forced to respond and make some adjustments because I got a lot of moving pieces, and um, I'm, I'm grateful for it, but it, it takes a lot of uh, mental capacity to, to coach them to their, to their abilities. Anything else? Congratulations. Thanks so much.